Tuesday morning at our apartments at Gouvier. This is our base for our mission to Albania. Just stopped off for a nice ice cream and a oh, lovely spot. Across to Albania. It's the most fabulous looking coastline. Absolutely beautiful. We really, really uh, like this beach. Beautiful fine sand. Fabulous. We're about to uh, find our way across to Saranda. We bought our tickets and uh, we're waiting for the hydrofoil to uh, come in. Well, I think the hydrofoil is uh, coming in there. Oh, well, that's it then. Well, this looks probably a bit of adventure this morning. We're all about to board. Passport office. It seems to be quite a performance to uh, get the visas and uh, everything else. It takes quite a while. This is uh, outside the church office in Saranda. We've just come up through the town and uh, seen a lot of market stalls. People seem to be. Uh, well, we certainly got Mr. Collins on the screen so that he doesn't forget to meet us today. <laughs> uh, for the poor families. Yeah. And uh, the idea is uh, not to bring the children, poor families, to bring one building and to and then, but in the family. Right. Yes. We go to the family to help in the family. Yeah. And we have uh, some coup coupons for food. Yes. Yes. This is for the children. Right, yeah. This is for the emergency and this is for the old people. Right, oh. brilliant. Yeah. And we nice. don't give the money, right. but we give the, this coupon this and after that the, the Quitin, one of the Dickens uh, work here. He, oh. he's a this is the pastor's office in here. Uh, all the big decisions are made. So main meeting room, and they hope to have a library in here eventually. Have prayer groups and things in here. This is the church anyway, where they meet. We've just come from the office, and this is just across the road into the church. Have a look inside. a view from the uh, church uh, over the town to the um, harbour. We're just meeting a lot of people and uh, getting to know the area. The Land Rover that they are uh, going to repaint and it's going to do a lot towards the beach missions in the forthcoming months. I think it's the one that Chris Gillen brought over. <laughs> Certainly need a Land Rover for this sort of uh, streets around the back of uh, Saranda. station. All the market stores. That's where they kept the um, refugees when they come. This building.
this is the uh, Greek Orthodox Church that we found. This is a bit of a relic from the communist era. They used to have these types of vehicles here and it's uh, been abandoned obviously. Well, this building is a, a school where all the uh, youngsters are learning. They're Albanian I suppose. That lady's home and she's got three children and she's invited us in and she goes to Satira's church and it's really nice of her to to invite us in. Trip. Just come home from school outside of her home. Oh, they seem to like their photos taken. Really lovely children actually. Just need so much help here. They're doing their best for sure. This uh, the Sunday school, I think. They seem to like the photo being taken. I think Pamela's going to take some home. Yeah, she wants to. She wants to. She was saying how do you adopt them? Um, she thought her daughter might. Her daughter might be interested. Cheese. Cheese. I don't know if she understands cheese. There are five islands in the bay. And I think you look over it to Corfu in the distance. It's Corfu, is it? Very beautiful spot. This is just a short distance from the lady that we've just visited, one of the poorest families here. And it's the uh, family that uh, they give the coupons to for food uh, once a month. they got three families like that they support from the church here. We're walking around the front at Saranda and uh, very shortly we're going to go up the top of that mountain to see the view. But I think we're going to the bookshop first for the church. Very pretty in parts. This is their uh, bookshop that they've got, and there's all sorts of books in there. There's a dictionary to translate English into Albanian, and all sorts of things, and uh, cards and uh, different things. We're just having a look around that now. Well, we're off back to the port now to uh, catch the uh, hydrofoil back to Corfu. Just the middle of the afternoon and it's uh, getting quite warm. Well, it's very interesting going to see uh, Albania and Saltiri. Uh, God, uh, seem to make our pathway quite easy, although it could have been complicated with all the different visas, etc. But even getting the car, it was, uh, we bumped into some Christians uh, walking into town and they knew somebody that could hire us a car very easily, so uh, that was very easy too. We've seen uh, how Sotiri is, and his church is evangelising to uh, his community in Saranda, and the rebuilding that's ha sort of happening there but uh, they got a, need a lot of help because I don't think they got big givers in their church congregation. It's all coming, the funding from outside from other churches like ourselves. So we 
uh, felt that, uh, of course, seeing that uh, young lady with her the mother, with her children, um, we weren't sure she may have had one electric plug, but there was no fridges, tellers, radios, bathrooms really properly there at all, and she's cheerfully bringing up her children as, and has become a Christian. So we, we feel that although there's so many needy people in this world, um, and probably some worse than we've seen ourselves. It's the uh, church that God has seemed to have led us to, that we can perhaps do something. So we are going now to see uh, Milti Altis and his church in Corfu town, and we will see how he is uh, supporting them and see that community of Christians too. So we look forward to visiting them on Sunday morning. We've arrived, we're on top of the world. This is right by the monastery that crowns this uh, mountain of and the view is absolutely stupendous. If only it was clear. Thirteen forty four this monastery was built, the monastery of Ibsen. And we're still at the monastery, looking across to Albania. Beautiful. Corfu Town Church on a Sunday morning. We just had the service and uh, people are chatting. We're meeting them gradually. This is the uh, front of the church. Lots of children about. Just had their Sunday school. We've got these uh, translation devices, uh, uh, which we followed the service in English. It was fine. No problem at all. They go on nice bookstore at the back and the translation device in the cupboard I think, the PA equipment. Well, the problem is though is I've been going the wrong time and the first reaction was to try and help them get you But the problem is you don't go outside. Oh this is the outside of their little church and uh Milti Altis outside. Just outside his church really been a good service today. Uh, I've been away so it's a bit uh, messy. Oh, <laughs> not, not bad. <laughs> How did you find Athens? Athens is, uh, actually I was born and I grew up in Athens. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Sorry, the basement of the church and where we used to feed the the people and give the clothes. Right, you see, yes. downstairs here, yeah, yeah. in Corfu. Yeah. This uh, uh, the staff, and that used to be my car at the time when we used to send the boxes. This was around in the beginning. You know, uh, it's a lot more changes there too. Mm. Things are building up, as you see. Uh, that used to be the vehicles, that used to be the taxis, right. <laughs> the trucks. <laughs> 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 there. Yes. The start. 
And this used to be Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's is his best, as I said. <laughs> and this oh. is the, in the center of the oh, <laughs> Different <laughs> situation <laughs> to what you see now. Eh? <laughs> uh, here's a, a yacht that uh, was belonged to a mission that gave us to use it in the summer as a floating hotel. Oh for teams to live uh, there while they go and do right. evangelism. So mm -hmm. before we had places to stay, mm -hmm. they used to uh, could sleep 16 people here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we, uh, this is the first baptisms. Mm -hmm. This is uh, actually, I mean, this is Sotiris. Look how oh, <laughs> it changed. changed yes. It's kind of changed. Oh, it's changed. Of course. It's I think one of us just yeah, changed, don't we? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's good, eh? And this is the 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 air link with England. Remember, I told you about uh, the flights. Mm. Yeah, that's a lady, isn't it? Younger. Uh, they used to come, and the oh. apple boxes used to arrive. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> you see, and. Uh, he will actually be the guy, the pilot, mm. ah. bring that. <laughs> and then it will go, it used to, uh, this is an orphanage, we took, uh, it was one of the first projects, we put windows in this uh, orphanage, there was no windows, all broken, 265 windows. Oh. And uh, we put a deep fridge and a freezer, there was nothing for milk and things like that to stay, to keep. There was a hundred children in there. And this is where the, we first started. And then the church starts meets. And the first Christmas. <laughs> mm. And the first mm. gifts and that. <laughs> the mm. taking and then. And the first Easter. Mm. They went oh, out. Yeah. Mm. The whole church. Uh, these were the neighbors of Sotiris in that village where Sotiris comes from, where I first went. Mm -hmm. And the neighbors of Sotiris were the first people who accepted the Lord there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were. He was the director of uh, the local uh, elementary school, and his wife was a teacher. And they opened the school for me with three hundred fifty children to go and tell them about the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now he is the first elder. Oh. So he and uh, Sotiris is the elder uh, of the church, yeah. and we have deacons, of course. But uh, he the, the, was the first also who accepted the Lord. And in the brochure that you got, you will see I say the teacher and the yeah. pupil together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is of the places where we go and give uh, help. Mm. Uh, we have 110 families, over 110 families who give feed every month, mm. yes. as well as other emergency plans. This was in Sotiris' home, it used to be home. I used it for, as the first base in that village. And this is the Sunday school, the first Sunday school, because they could not all be in the, school, in the room. They would take a, a term at a time. I could put about 20 in, and they will, the others wait outside to take in terms every hour. One group goes and the other used to come in to, for the for the uh, Sunday school in the in the house. So the room could only take twenty. So the others had to wait and uh, take a turn every, every hour. <laughs> and this is again part of the families that we are helping. And this they are in, live in slum conditions. Try to help. Like for example, you see here, this is the, the kitchen area. Yeah, yeah we, we mm. went to the one house. Took us to one. Yeah, And this is the hospital of uh, Saranda, uh, where we where we are is the new hospital behind that. Mm -hmm. This is the and the, we it, didn't see that. Uh, and this was a dreadful place, and uh, we helped a lot. Uh, we used to take uh, all kinds of. Uh, Brother Gilham helped uh, bring uh, incubators mm -hmm. uh, from England, St. Bart's Hospital. <laughs> it was interesting. And um, was, uh, we put uh, 
sort of help here. Now, the here is also an, an outreach we, we did, we took into this village, is uh, seeds to grow for a hundred families. Mm -hmm. So we get the things so they can grow different vegetables and potatoes and things like that. Mm -hmm. This was in another village, in another place, Korcha, on the east side, we had a trip that we went and helped uh, some other people and also always giving the gospel. And mm. This family is, was the director of the hospital, but also the, the founder, a uh, very big politician, and uh, one of the, uh, part of the strongest Muslim community in the place. Showing the, the love and care we saw for the hospital, he was attracted and uh, now he's been converted and the whole family is a, is a very faithful Christian. Oh, the hospital, to show the, the, the conditions of the hospital, uh, this battery of the old truck used to be as the emergency system for the whole hospital. You can imagine that. Oh. Uh, so, when we went, they had not even seen chlorine and stuff for two months. So they, yeah. And the needles, they will assign to the, to the nurses. They can only use one needle at a time. They will assign to keep it going until it breaks. Oh. So it can, it's a very poor situation. So we give parcels to families, to different people. We bring a wheelchair to somebody, you know, to a child. Oh. Different... Uh, and the... Uh, and the government had given us a big, at that time, big storage place where we will, and this is the time that they have given us, mm -hmm. to bring the trucks, when the trucks start coming, oh, yeah. to empty and from there to, to distribute. Right. This is from England, another place where we come to church. Mm -hmm. um, they can be fed. You want them to come to church on their exactly, own? Exactly, yes. Yeah, yeah. And we will feed them in regard to they come to church mm -hmm. or not. We do help them in the name of the Lord, tell them about the Lord, but will not, mm. they're not obligated yeah. to come. And this is a beautiful thing. When yes. we see that happening, mm. coming, then, then this... You know it's working. Uh, mm. Yes, you know it's working. Mm. The one sort of, what you call the rice Christian sort of thing. Mm. That's right, yes. And this is one of the trucks mm. <laughs> that's coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is the, now, you see in this story, we, we fill up and then in a small ambulances and different things coming and distributed mm. to different places. Mm. And the story goes until the biggest thing ever happened. <laughs> uh, you see these trucks? Mm -hmm. There are four of them, yeah. this size. Mm -hmm. yes. When the Dutch government uh, emptied the uh, men medical reserves they had to, uh, for the Cold War mm -hmm. to to the different uh, aid organizations, mm -hmm. and one uh, a organization gave us uh, 300 units, Christian organization gave us 300 units, which means from the spoon of the patient to the bed, uh, to the mattress, everything. Mm -hmm. Anything that the patient needed mm -hmm. for 300 birds. You can see here, sign bringing over, and we emptied the hospital completely. Mm -hmm. You see empty rooms. Mm -hmm. And we started to refill it inside, yes. oh, completely. And that's how it used to be, yeah. and now it became. Mm. Oh. And uh, next to each bed, we put a New Testament. Oh. That was the deal. Yes. <laughs> and then other places, this is a maternity thing. Mm. You see how all the mm. situation it is. Switch, that is a big problem. You no know, pipes, everything is broken, yes. things yeah, are, uh, things like that. Yeah. And uh, this is the f first vehicle was given, but uh, he had an unfortunate story. It was stolen in English, not in Albany. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, here we have, uh, here was Solon, our, this was our first missionary there, mm -hmm. and after before Sotiris went, mm -hmm. after I went and the other churches started helping, mm -hmm. children, yeah. everywhere, mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> them, yes. and in the beginning, uh, we used to bring small groups to the children, uh, to the children's camp in Greece, mm -hmm. and this is in Greece bringing, remember Stefan, the teacher, Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Bringing small groups uh, to Greece, yeah. but that was a big, a lot of expenses, 
and a few children. Yeah. Mm. So uh, from then on, we started uh, going, uh, starting camps in Albania. Yeah. Mm. We started mm. in Greece, and yeah. then we saw we needed from out of the expenses, we saw that we needed to do mm. in mm. Albania. This is uh, teams that do but pantomime. That's a good uh, way mm -hmm. around because yeah. the teams yeah. can act and somebody can speak and yeah. tell the story. Yeah. So yeah. this is a good yeah. way of, yeah. of evangelism. Yeah. And this is an English team actually. He come from Bedworth Christian Center. Ah. And, and this is uh, an American team and an English team. He come different time. Mm. And uh, this is the Bedworth team. He had uh, uh, taken up to renovate this, the school of this uh, Christian uh, uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's how the school was before, inside, yeah. as you saw. And uh, we came, uh, some, you know, have casualties on the way. Oh. Tired, <laughs> 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 but after a lot of work and working, yeah. that's how we have, we had oh. it. Yeah. All painted and done, and uh, then uh, from Holland they gave a brand new set for the children to start with a bag to start with the school, mm -hmm. uh, with, together with the children's Albanian children's Bible in it. Oh. Yeah. So that's very. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, in the hospital. The biggest problem. You remember that. Uh, battery of the uh, the old battery of the truck that yes, was yeah. the electrical emergency mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. from Holland came this generator to replace that battery oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> only to find out that the system was very old mm -hmm. and the machines could not work unless we changed the whole wire system mm -hmm. yes. so we did help to change the whole uh, the whole wire system of the hospital mm -hmm. in order to operate so this guy is Norman Sinclair. I don't know if you know. Sinclair. Yeah. Used to be with uh, Every Home for Christ, uh, be the director, and then yeah, he used name. to work with the uh, mm. different mm. crusades. And then yeah. he used to, yeah. uh, where's that up there? Uh, this is outside Saranda. Oh yeah. Outside on the on the hill. Uh -huh. And uh, again, here. That was another help that we got uh, Adam's uh, stores in England. They gave a big help to this uh, oh, to a group and we forward, nice. forward it to us. Yeah. And this is children here and we put mm. over coach yeah. for the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we had here in Corfu the same time we were working in Corfu mm. and we had the first Christian wedding of uh, an Albanian couple. Oh. Uh, here oh. in Gurfu. Oh, so this is oh. kind of a... Mm. We're looking across at Albania from Corfu and uh, what we experienced over there at Saranda was probably seeing the clouds of communism gradually going away. Perhaps through the uh, Christian church there and their work they'll, and prayer, there'll be more equality in Albania between the rich and the poor. We do pray that uh, God will bless the people of, that we've met and they will be able to find their way forward into a much more prosperous future, both spiritually and materially. Here in Corfu, they've made the best of the tourist trade and people come here for weeks where in Albania, Saranda, they just have day trippers going across. Perhaps one day the tourist trade will also include Albania and bring them some uh, of the benefits of that. Just making the most of the last little bit of our Greek adventure and this is a really nice spot as you look over the bay look at that the monastery small monastery in the foreground looking out over the bay just south of Corfu town we've seen and heard such a lot about the work in Albania 
and we're looking forward to sharing that with our folks back home. We've heard such a lot from El Talate and uh, Satiri. It's really been a Greek adventure. And to fly back now to the UK.